KFFL is a great story in terms of how it, uh, how it originated. It really started with Tim Flynn, who was then chairman, while I was deputy chairman, and I talking with our wives. We were looking for something that didn't just involve KPMG's partners and employees, but really engaged the entire extended family of KPMG. So we decided that perhaps we needed a uh, program that would actually allow the entire KPMG family to bring their passion and resourcefulness to bear on a crisis in our country that's very, very real, and that's the crisis of childhood literacy. It's something we believed all of our people could really get behind, but more importantly because we thought it was at the heart of one of the major problems and challenges that we face in the United States. Access to books is the biggest stumbling block for children who really want to get ahead. There's only one book for every 300 children at or below the poverty level. Those are the kind of statistics that are frightening. The numbers are staggering. I, I know that in our homes, books are, are everywhere. I know in some children's homes, they are few and far between. So uh, to be able to hand a book to a child and know that they're going to read it a million times over and pass it to their siblings and read it and even pass it to their parents that might not have that gift of literacy, it's huge. What really makes KFFL unique at the end of the day is it isn't just about our employees and partners coming together to work with children. It's about the entire family. So on any given day, there are KPMG family members reading to children all across the country. Not just the KPMG employees, but their spouses, their children, our retired partners, our interns, anyone who calls KPMG their phone. With my wife Rose so involved and uh, our kids also get involved, it's a great way to make our family uh, a part of the KPMG community as well, so it's th been a terrific experience for us. It's exciting to see the kids and to be involved and to feel like you are making an impact. One time we decided to have the books shipped to my house so that the kids could get involved. You know, I give them the list, the number of books, they put them in the bags and Little in the car. Little line going. Yeah. <laughs> both my parents were, uh, were, were both immigrants without uh, knowing how to uh, speak uh, English or read. I understand firsthand the struggles that they've encountered and if there's uh, anything that I can do to uh, empower the children of our country, I'm glad that I can contribute. From the children's perspective, it's all about, wow, this person cares enough to come into my classroom, to read this book to me, to talk to me, and to listen to me and to know what I think about Dr. Seuss or whoever it is, um, and then to leave and leave me with this book that I can read over and over again. I think that's pretty priceless for for any child. When I grow up, I'd like to work at KPMG to make the same di difference that I'm doing right now. There was a KPMG family that read to us. I was so excited that I got to take home the book because what if I don't remember the book and and how good it was? So if I keep it, I can read it as long as I want. I would read the book to my brother because he doesn't really have good eyesight to see the words. If we can be in the marketplace as a family, just not as partners or employees, but our entire families, helping those less fortunate children and help change their lives to where they'll have the opportunity to be part of a vibrant community, we'll not only feel good about it, but it'll be positive not only for those children, but for our children and our grandchildren as they live in that same community. In the five years since the founding of KFFL, KPMG people have put two million new books in the hands of children who otherwise had no books. And that's something we should all feel deeply proud about. Thank you, KPMG. Thank you, KPMG. Thank you,